when you idiot proof things, you just make better idiots. This is Mark Bell from supertraining.tv, supertraining gym, the strongest gym in the West, answering more questions today for the Power Project brought to you by howmuchyoubench.net <gasps> and the Power Magazine, the only freaking strength magazine on the planet. Um, the question today comes from Slade Winberry. Sounds like a totally fake name. I don't know. I don't know about you guys, but that sounds like a made-up name. Anyway, Slade is a student, and he wants to know how to get up for his workouts. He wants to know how he can get into the zone. He said uh, once he gets to the gym, he's kind of feeling burnt out after his classes, and he's having a difficult time getting pumped at the gym. I don't know if he's talking about, like, getting a good pump from lifting or if he's talking about, like, getting psyched up and pumped. But either way, I got some good advices for you. Um... Advice number uno, let's talk a little bit about um, pre-workout drinks and let's talk a little bit about um, caffeine and coffee and those kinds of things. I'm not sure you didn't really list uh, any, of those, any of those types of things here. Um, they can be effective, however, um, they do tend to mess with your sleep, especially if you're taking something at like basically any time past about 4 p.m. So if you're taking something to get you revved up for the gym at, let's say, around 4, the thing hits you at 5, and you, you go to work out, and your body gets all whacked out, and by the time you get home and unwind and eat and everything, it's like 8, and you're a little bit tired, but you don't want to go to bed, and you get these kind of these huge waves going. Um, so you want to be careful with your consumption of caffeine. Be a little bit careful of your consumption of uh of coffee. Um, a lot of times, you know, you hear people say, oh, I have trouble sleeping. And then you ask them how much coffee they drink in a day. I'm totally guilty of this. I drink a lot of coffee and I do have trouble sleeping usually as well. So it doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't take a, a, a rocket surgeon to figure that, figure out that, uh, uh, you might need to cut back on, on some of your caffeinated products or some of the uh, stimulants that you're taking pre-workout. If you're not doing any of that kind of stuff, then you need to watch your diet. Um, you shouldn't be eating carbohydrates before your training session. Um, again, let's just kind of say that you're training like late afternoon or even kind of at night. Um, you want to keep your carbohydrate consumption low. Maybe have a little bit of carbs in the morning or something like that if you are uh, eating carbohydrates. Um, but the... the, the um, the meal that you eat before you go and train should not be heavy on carbs. It shouldn't be heavy on anything, really. Um, it should just be uh, basically made up of proteins and fats, and it should be something that uh, you can digest well, um, something that's not going to be kind of interfering with your workout, and you'll have all that uh, all that food sitting in your stomach while you're training. But a lot of times, carbohydrates will just kind of slow you down. Uh, it's actually even been, been shown in studies that uh, gluten can slow down reaction time um, so the brain fog and the different kinds of things that you're feeling when you're going to train, especially in the morning, you might notice that uh, if you are eating carbohydrates at night, if you're doing something like backloading, a lot of times you wake up the next day and you almost have a similar feel to like a hangover. You got a little bit of a brain fog. Um, but uh, back to supplements for a second. There are some supplements out there that can help. You're going to want to look into some things that uh, stimulate your brain uh, rather than kind of stimulate your nervous system. So look into uh, products like acetyl L-carnitine. Um, there's a uh, is that what it's called? Let me look in my let me look at my cabinet. Um, there's uh, <clears throat> there's a bunch of products out there that uh, it may not seem like they're all that effective because they don't get you all crazy and jittery. Sorry about the camera being a little out of whack here. Yeah, here we go. Acetyl L-carnitine. Mine's from True Nutrition. I also have a product called Burn, which is kind of more of a fat burn, but that's more like a stimulant. Again, you do want to be careful with the stimulants just because you can get yourself overstimulated, then you can't sleep. If you can't sleep, you can't rest, you can't recover from your workouts, and it just becomes a ugly cycle. Um, <clears throat> another thing to do is to try to clear your mind before you go into the gym. Um, stay away from your phone. Stay away from emails. Um, stay away from any any school related or business related or even personal uh, issues um, before stepping foot in the gym. Try to uh, give yourself a little bit of time to uh, 
I guess basically detoxify your brain and get yourself ready for training. Another great thing that you can do is write down three things that you want to do in the gym each each and every time you step foot in there. So if it's a uh, if it's a day that you're training your chest, you know that you want to start off with uh, barbell bench press, and then you want to move into some dumbbell work, and then maybe you want to do some. Uh, some flies or something like that. Whatever, whatever the three things are that you set out to do that you want to do, get them done. But the only way to get them done is to kind of like is to have a plan uh, when you go in. A lot of times, if you don't plan ahead, you plan to fail. Have you ever heard that before? Give yourself a little bit of a plan. Even just three exercises can get you pushed in the right direction, and uh, you'll already be about halfway through your workout at that point, and then. Who cares what the hell else you do after you pushed hard on three exercises? Um, it's all just going to be fluff and, and uh, bodybuilding type, <clears throat> type stuff at that point. Um, but make sure you write down about three things. Get those three things accomplished. I found that if you write down more than three, that's hard to get to them all. So just three things will be enough. Um, write it down the day before. Don't do it the day of. Don't do it on your way. Remember doing homework on the bus on the way to school? Don't do it that way. Do it the night before. Get it done. Write down three things that you want to do. I still do that with my training. I write down three things in my phone, and then when I get to the gym, I look at it. Sometimes it's slightly adjusted once I get to the gym due to kind of like what everybody else's plan is, but uh, that has helped me tremendously. And also, realize that each and every time you step foot in the gym, that it's a chance for you to get better. And also um, realize that uh, this is something that you believe in and it's something you want to put your your best effort into. So you want to try to, each and every time you go to the gym, you want to try to improve. You don't need to be a maniac in there or anything like that. Um, But you are there for improvement. It's something that you chose to do for yourself. So you owe it to yourself to go in there and bust your ass and train and make yourself into a bad motherfucker. And that is it from supertraining.tv. Later.